Hi guys, welcome back to Drip HQ. My name is Alex O. And today on How To Tuesday, we're gonna be installing the IRP short shifter as well as dust boot. And we're gonna do a little unboxing as well as an install on my E36-328. This is going to be the V3 IRP short shifter. Let's go ahead and install this on my E36. All right, now that we're in my interior, we're going to be doing the start to finish install of this IRP short shifter. To start off this install, I'll be removing the shift boot as well as the shifter out of the way. Then we'll work on the back half of the console. Now that we have the shifter removed from the front, we move to the back so we can remove the ashtray as well as the armrest. Now that we have the three screws out of the way as well as all the little clips, we'll move back to the front so we can remove this console towards the rear. Back in the front of the car, we're going to be moving the dust boot from the e-brake. We'll just be pulling this up and out of the way. We can leave it up like that. With the steering console, you can slide it back and then we'll just kind of pass it over just like that to have access to our bolts here and start moving the front shroud around the shifter. shifter surround out of the way well, we'll start by removing the dust boot from the shifter now with that out of the way we'll go underneath and then we'll remove all the leakage now that we're underneath the car we're going to be removing the linkages out of the way so we can install our chassis mount shifter the only thing we're going to be keeping is our DSSR DSSR. Show me. Close it. You see. Mm -hmm. Now that we have the DSSR out of the way, we're going to be removing the shifter arm. That way we can install the chassis mounted IRP. Now with this shifter arm, the linkage at the front is going to be this pin. It's going to be collapsed on to the top of the transmission. With this, you have to get a flathead or a pick underneath this clip so you can pry it up and swing it and then you can pull it out from the side. Now that we're done from the underside with removing the linkages, we'll go back up top and start the holes for the IRP shifter. Now that we've located where the dust boot is going to sit on the trans tunnel, we'll take this boot We'll remove it from the dust boot cover, and then we're gonna be installing this over the bottom side of the shifter. Now that we have our cover back in place, we'll put the plate back down the trans tunnel, and then from the bottom side, we'll tighten down. After that, we're gonna be drilling our holes. We've centered it in the hole that's already there. We're gonna use a smaller bit to use as a pilot and a punch. Now with these two middle bolts installed, we'll be drilling through the rest of these holes. Now that we're back underneath the car, we're gonna start by installing the nuts at the front left. I've got a helper up top to hold the 13 while I apply the nuts. Now that we have the four bolts tightened, we're gonna install our DSSR back to the front side of the transmission, then slip it up onto the IRP shifter. We're gonna push up our cover for the bottom of the dust boot cover. 
you know, slip it behind the plate. We're gonna take an eight millimeter with an Allen up top, and we're gonna start to tighten down the sides. Now with the shift boot and cover, we're gonna install the back of the DSSR onto the shifter. We're gonna slide up in place, rotate our shifter back a little bit. Since we have the DSSR installed underneath, we can now see how this is gonna operate and how it's gonna feel. After that, we're gonna be installing the shifter surround and trimming where we need to to make it fit. And then we'll be reinstalling the rest of the interior pieces. That's gonna complete the install of the IRP short shifter. Overall, a very easy install where it keeps the stock interior. This product and others can be found on DriftHQ.com. My name is Alex, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us by phone, email, or on Instagram.